Here are some tips for operating the appliances that use propane in the RV. When your propane-fueled appliances call for gas and their 12-volt DC system initiates the ignition process, there are safety features in place to make sure that the propane gas line in the burn chamber area does not stay open indefinitely. Appliances like the water heater, refrigerator, and furnace all have an igniter that will attempt to light the propane flame for a total of three times before closing the gas line and stopping the flow. Sometimes you can even hear the tick, tick, ticking of the igniter during this process. When it times out after three attempts, you will need to reset the appliance by turning it off, waiting a few moments, then power it on to attempt the igniting sequence again. Another pro tip is how to avoid and remedy propane lockout. There is a safety feature on the propane system that will limit the flow of propane, and it's actually there to protect humans in the event of a compromise to the propane lines. If you have appliances already calling for propane in the RV prior to turning on the service valve at the tank, you might experience propane lockout. To remedy this issue, simply turn off all appliances calling for propane inside the RV, head outside to turn off the service valve at the tank, wait a few moments, then open the service valve again to allow propane to flow as intended. One glaring drawback to the ASME tank on a motorhome is that when it runs out, the RVer must disconnect everything and brake camp to head out for a refill. An extend-to-stay device is something that motorized RV owners use to extend the time between refills. They can use the extend-to-stay valve to attach a DOT cylinder to the propane system and continue use without having to break camp and drive elsewhere for a refill. Some simple tips to conserve propane include turning off the water heater when not in use while operating in propane mode. Simply turn it on 10 to 15 minutes before you need hot water. If you are camping at an RV park with electrical connections and your appliances offer these options, consider using electric mode for the water heater and refrigerator instead of propane. If your RV is equipped with an electric heat pump air conditioner combo, consider using this source of warmth during cold weather camping when temps are above 40 degrees outside.